the Right Honorable Raila Odinga. We national leaders who hail from Mount Kenya region would like to put the record straight on a number of salient issues raised in this pointless political discourse. One, we demand respect to the president and the presidency. We demand respect for president as head of government, head of state, and symbol of national unity. Individuals with divergent views must criticize or correct the president with decorum and respect. It is of paramount importance for individuals seeking the, president's, the presidency now in the future to uphold respect for the office and the desire to occupy it in future. <coughs> Two, on the president's legacy projects. From the time he got into power in 2013, President Uhuru Kenyatta has committed himself doing everything in his power to better the lives of Kenyans in all possible way. It is for this reason that the president came up with the legacy projects as captured in the Big Four initiative. They, in the Big Four agenda of manufacturing, food security, and nutrition, afforda affordable housing, and universal health care. These are issues the country should be focused on and not pointless succession politics. On three, which is a Building Bridges initiative, allow me to let my sister mother carry on from there. As a result of His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta's patriotism and commitment for a united Kenya, devoid of bloodshed every elective season, the President and former Prime Minister Raila Odinga set aside their political differences to drive the Building Bridge Initiative. It is our considered opinion that it is unpatriotic of some politicians who are sabotaging this positive initiative for personal political gain, and this should not be allowed. The war on craft, we believe all Kenyans of goodwill should unite and support the war against graft, which is absolutely necessary for the delivery of the Big Four agenda and essential services. Let it be known to one and all that the war on craft does not target individuals based on ethnicity, political persuasion, or other nebulous criteria, and that corruption fights back. As His Excellency the President has said, when people steal from public coffers, they do so as individuals, not ethnic communities. And as such, when they are made to face the music, they should be seen as individuals, not ethnic communities. On the succession, the President has stated over and over again that the country should focus on delivery of services to Wananchi, not on worthless succession politics. We share this view and demand that all leaders of goodwill adhere to the President's direct, directive on this issue. Finally, let all Kenyans know that elections are far away and the country has bigger problems to deal with outside elective politics. Patriotism calls on all of us to do and preach that which is best for all Kenyans, not pander to political interests and ambitions of any individual. That is the yes, yes, yeah, good afternoon. Um, yes, my name is Kelemi Muiria, former member of parliament, Tigania West, and former assistant minister for education, science and technology. Uh, let me talk about the issue about the vacuum, but more importantly, talk about the dangers of the miseducation that the Tanga Tanga team is you know, pervading around. Um, I think one of the problems you know, with this team is that they are going around in the country telling the people that the president is doing nothing in the Mount Kenya region as a way of getting him out of his agenda, 
of his four, four pillars of development, but also so that he doesn't fight corruption. So really, it's a diversionary tactic. This is it, and it is important, if anything, if a caucus has to be formed, it's a caucus to go educating the people about the real agenda of these people. Mm. Secondly, there is a team that's going around making it look like it's a Kikuyu Kalenjin matter. That is a matter about the Rift Valley. That if we don't do this, people will fight in the Rift Valley. This country is not about just the Rift Valley. Mm. There are so many other Kenyans in this country. This country is not about Kalenjins and Kikuyus. Mm. Just because they have produced president, the, you know, the last 50 years doesn't mean that they have an entitlement. And it is important to us to educate our people that the more we are more common with other people, the more we make it possible for people to know that a Trokana can be president, a Mumero can be president, you know, as a Borana can be president. I think this is the way we, we are going, and that's why we want to encourage the president to continue this fight, uniting the country, convincing every Kenyan, and giving every Kenyan hope that it is possible, and that him... He cannot sit at state house and say, I am anointing so and so to be president because he is the president of all Kenyans and he is the president of all communities that can produce a Kenyan uh, president. Thank you.